Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Chris with CNM Aquatics, and today we are gonna show you how to make some frag plugs at home. We're gonna make some tiles and some frag plugs, and I'm ready for the floodgates to open up on this video in the comment section because we are making our frag plugs out of Portland cement and play sand and I know people are going to have very strong opinions on this process on whether these things are safe to put into your aquarium or not and we'll go through the process so you want to start with you want to use Portland cement and it needs to be type 1 or type 2 and the reason for that is is it has a lower pH which is going to help with the curing process and if you can even find low pH Portland cement, that's the best. Then the other ingredient we're going to use is just regular quickcrete play sand. And we'll talk a little bit on if these products are safe or not for your reef tank. And if you can guess here, uh, I use these plugs and tiles at the farm, at the coral farm, so I'm not going to put them in my tanks if they aren't safe because I'm not going to kill my corals. And I'm not going to sell them to people if they're not safe. So we'll talk a little bit about that later. So my mixture, I'm using one and a half parts Portland cement and then one part uh, playground sand. And I mix it watery. And using the, the paddle on the drill here really helps to mix it well and get all the clumps out. Because the problem I was running into was if you just get a little rock or a little clump, it doesn't want to squeeze out of your bottle when you're filling the molds so it's better to make it a little wetter and you will break some of the plugs since you're mixing the concrete wetter but that's okay it's not a big deal and the molds that I have here I made the molds I didn't do a video on the mold making but if you guys did want to try this I will leave an affiliate link down in the description below to a link to where you can buy the silicone to make the molds it was a very easy process and I started out sand casting you know making molds out of sand and pouring the concrete into that and I was not happy with the quality of the plugs and the tiles they had a lot of sand stuck to them and they were misshapen so that's why I switched to the silicone molds and, and it cuts down on maintenance you know making these things it cuts down on the time and the effort tremendously so it's a very simple straightforward process you're going to pour your mixture into the mold and that's another reason why I got away from the sand because you just couldn't get a consistent plug so you fill your mold your plug all the way to the top and then I come back with a little screw and you just kind of swirl it around in there and what that does is it mixes the cement in the hole so that there's no bubbles in there and then it all solidifies as one piece because when you demold these things if you don't let them cure long enough or I mean sit in the mold long enough and you try to pop them out you're gonna pop the heads off and you're gonna lose the stems and you're gonna end up with a little stem and a disc not really a frag plug and we are going to be listing these on the website for sale so you can purchase plugs off the website if you're interested in them and people ask me why buy these why bother making these plugs versus the ceramic ones and there's a couple reasons it's a lot cheaper I don't have to have a kiln the concrete and sand is dirt cheap no pun intended but Hopefully we can sell them as a cheaper alternative. And honestly, these things look more like a rock. They're more natural looking, gray in color. So you don't have like a, um, you know, a bleached white plug sitting in your, your show tank. If, if you're going to put plugs in there, I know a lot of people will take their corals off the plugs and put the coral in the show tanks. And, and that's what I would do as, as well. But if you are going to put a plug into your system, these look more like rocks. So... They are definitely more aesthetically pleasing than the white ceramic plugs. That's a, that's a big reason why I like to use them. 
and then me doing this, I can use these plugs at the coral farm and it, it helps save money. I don't have to, you know, go to a wholesaler and buy a whole bunch of plugs like I was doing in the past. So we're just making our own. And, you know, that plays into the prices of corals and everything helps keep the price down across the board. So I'm making roughly 130 plugs a day and like 12 tiles a day with this process. And it takes me maybe an hour to pour them, demold and pour them all. So we're starting to ramp up production on them and we'll get them on the website very soon. So I'll, I'll touch a little bit on the controversy behind this. Um, for years, people have been making their own plugs and they have been actually even making their own live rock using this type of mixture with Portland cement and playground sand. And yes, so if you take one of these plugs out and after I'll, I'll let them you know sit in the mold for a day 24 hours is enough time to let them harden up and then I'll pop them out of the mold and then if you turned around and you put these right into your reef aquarium yes it would be damaging to that ecosystem and the reason for that is the cement cures over time right so it has a lot of stuff in there that you don't want to put into your aquarium even if you're running carbon you don't want to put these right into your aquarium because they're going to leach out basically lime water it's like it's like a very concentrated dose of calquasser that you know you use to control alkalinity with but you don't want it releasing in the amounts that these plugs are going to release so there is a way to make them reef safe and i'll show you at the end of the video after we pop them out of the molds and how you do that is you're going to freshwater cure them. And how you do that is there's nothing fancy. You can get a five gallon bucket or a tub in the backyard and you're going to put all the plugs and the tiles, whatever you make, into that water. And this is this is a downside versus the ceramic plugs because the ceramic plugs, when you fire them, you know, in the kiln, you don't have to cure them. They are ready to go right into an aquarium and they're completely reef safe whereas I really want to stress this point you pop these out of the mold you do not want to put them in your aquarium because they will hurt things the corals the fish it, it'll mess up the water quality so you're going to put them into like a five gallon bucket and you're going to cure them in fresh water and I will show you how to do that so after we we got them all poured all the plugs and all the tiles and like I said I'm going to let them sit for 24 hours so they won't be ready to pop out until the next day and here's the magic of filmmaking here's the next day they are dried and they are ready to demold they're not as shiny as they were and that's another thing I really liked with the silicone molds was the ease of demolding it was a lot cleaner and easier to, to get out than in the sand so I'll just kind of break the mold a little bit here then use a finger on the bottom side, push up, and the plugs will pop pretty much right out of the mold. And once again, these are casted, but they are not ready to put into an aquarium. The size of the mold, I'm getting 30 plugs per mold, and I kept it at that size instead of doing like a 50 sheet for the demolding process. If you got a bigger sheet than this, it would start getting hard to get them out and, and just handle the mold. See, I just I broke one off there. You're gonna occasionally get get one that that breaks off at the stem. That's fine. I, I would much rather have them break here than you know down the road if someone buys them or after the curing process. And there's another broken one. The silicone molds, they stay surprisingly clean after demolding. You don't have to wash them every time and I am not using any type of mold release agent 
this particular brand of silicone mold. The company I bought it from when I was doing my research, it specifically listed concrete compatible, so you could do concrete um, castings, you know. I don't know if other silicone mold companies, if, if the the acidity, you know, in the concrete, if it would mess with the mold, but I've done a lot of castings with these so far. I've been doing it every day for about two, three months now, just trying to build up a stock, and there's very little wear and tear on these molds. They're not cracking or peeling, and all the plugs are still coming out very uniform. I'll just brush off the mold real quick and then move on to the next one. We'll speed it up here a little bit. But I was talking about the freshwater curing, and what that does is it's just fresh water. I don't put salt into it. I'm not using RO water. I'm just using tap water from the house. So just with one of my, you know, um, water testing kits for the aquarium, I tested my baseline pH for the house, and it was like 8.3. So I know my baseline for the tap water coming into my house. So I'll just I'll fill the buckets up with the tap water, and then the plugs and the tiles sit in that. And they will sit in that for a minimum of two months. This is the downside to using the concrete. You have to make sure that it's reef safe. So every batch, the plugs and tiles will sit for a minimum of two months. And as they do that, you'll see they'll start releasing, you know, the chemicals and the lime from the concrete. And it'll float to the surface of the water. And then once a week, every weekend, I dump out the water and I refill it with tap water. And, and I do that for two months and you may not have to do it for two months you may cure faster depending on your your pH and your water it might take a month a month and a half but I'm gonna you know err on the side of caution and they sit for a minimum of two months and then when they stop releasing that filmy white substance in the water I will test with my pH test again and as long as the pH does not rise after the testing, after they sit in the water for a week, then they're done releasing chemicals and they are cured and they will be ready to sell or to use at the farm or to put into a reef tank. And a lot of people do this. They don't test the water just after, you know, the water starts getting murky and, and whitish. They'll use them, but I'm going the extra step just just to make sure that they are fully cured and they're not releasing anything into the aquarium. So the tiles we're using instead of the frag plugs at the farm to grow, you know, the mother colonies out. And then, like, if you put a sophastry on there, you know, he's going to grow across the, the surface of the tile. And then I'll use, you know, our, our coral saw and I can just cut up that whole tile with the coral on it and glue it and make a whole bunch of different frags. So these are casted, finished, but not cured yet. The bottom side if you want a rougher side or you can use the top side for the coral, a smoother side. They work great for, you know, like zooanthids, anything that mats out. Um, green star polyps they work great for that and here's one of the tiles I'm sorry one of the frag plugs I should have showed you a white one next to it there really is a big color difference these grayer plugs look a lot more natural in the aquarium rock and you can see here they fit perfectly into egg crate if you're using egg crate in your system or they wedge into the rocks just like any other frag plug would Okay, so back up here you can see where I have different batches curing, and here you can see all that that gunk that's floated up to the top, and that's just like a, a day after, you know, putting them in. So they'll just sit in there and cure a minimum of two months, and I'll do my testing on them and make sure that they are 
reef safe. Curing them doesn't really do anything for you know the coloration or the weight. They, they, they look the same after the curing process but it's just getting all that, that stuff out of there that you don't want to have into your aquarium. And this, I know the comment section on this video is going to go crazy. People are going to get on there and say, you absolutely can't do this. Don't ever put these in your system. It'll kill everything. If they are properly cured, they will not hurt anything. They are 100% reef safe. Those are some of the sand casted tiles I did. And these are the sand casted frag plugs. You can see they, they just came out ununiform. Every one was a little different. And it looked like they had sand stuck on them, and I didn't like how they looked, so we went to the silicone casting. The other thing people are gonna the 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 playground sand that I'm using, you know, isn't technically reef safe, but it's gonna go through the curing process and it's gonna get all the organic material off of it. If you think about it, your glass aquarium is made out of the same thing as the playground sand and the glass doesn't leach anything into the aquarium because it's been you know manufactured and, and, and treated properly so i appreciate you guys watching if you have any questions at all please do leave them in the comments i know people will have questions about this so please feel free to leave me a message and i will do my best to get back to you thanks a lot bye